Hi everybody, welcome to World Swamp. This is Fat Frog and today we're going to talk about spoil times and preserving in Scorched Earth. Now, Ark Survival Evolved is a difficult game in itself. Any kind of survival game really is. There's usually a lot of uh, tedious grinding. It's kind of part of the fun, but it does get tedious sometimes. And Ark Scorched Earth is quite a lot more tedious and a lot more difficult in my opinion. And one of the reasons is, is because the spoil times are so darn fat. So a case in point with the spoiled meat timers is that a Paracerotheum just fell from a few moments ago fell from the cliff and I don't know why but all my dinos went crazy and killed it. And I know spoil times are really fast so I ran over here and I ran over to my wolf happy puppy because I saw he was the one that killed the Paracerotheum. And he had uh, I think six raw prime meat in there. So I grabbed those as quick as I could without getting stuck on boulders. And I ran, 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 ran over here. And I quick accessed the inventory and threw the meat in there and set it ablaze. So I had a thatch in here so it wouldn't produce charcoal, so I wouldn't kind of screw up my inventory there. It kind of makes things a little bit more difficult when you deal with it. Thatch doesn't cook as much stuff, but anyway. So I did that. And while I was cooking it, one of the uh, prime meat spoiled and then the other one cooked up. And so I tried putting more in there, and the instant I put more raw prime meat in there, it spoiled. And so I have no idea how I am going to be able to make any quantity of uh, raw prime meat jerky in order to make uh, certain kinds of kibble. So it's going to be extremely difficult. I don't know if I'm going to have to, you know, carry a industrial grill with me. But in any event, um, everything spoils faster on some things that are kind of weird spoil and you know it, you wouldn't expect them to like cactus sap and that sort of thing. So you have um, in game you can build refrigerators after you get electricity. You can have preserving bins in the back and a new mechanic or a new thing that you can make is preserving salt. So for preserving salt you need to make it over in a mortar and pestle and you'll need salt and sulfur. You can see now that's lit up. So I have the Ingram here. So it requires two raw salt and one sulfur to make. So I'm gonna go ahead and craft all 28 and we'll show you what happens here. So it stacks up in groups of sixes. Now when you put this in your inventory, it'll increase the uh, spoil timers. So I'll just wait for one of these to cook up. I'm just gonna dump this old one in here. Now you'll see while it's in the inventory, it spoils in itself. So it's got a 20 minute timer on it. So if I dump it over here, it's going to take, so I've got um, cooked meat in here. It spoils in, here, let's just divide this out. So it, this one spoils in, in three minutes, 10 seconds. And if I take the preserving salts out, it's now one and a half minutes. So you can see it's, uh, it's good to keep around, but it spoils in itself. So it's going to spoil one at a time, so six times uh, 20 minutes, that's going to be 120 minutes. So it's this batch of six is only going to last two hours. So if I'm going caving or something like that, I might be out and about for you know six hours, and it's going to spoil and not keep my stuff. So you can actually put it in here, in uh, this jar right here. So this is a vessel that preserves the preserving salt. So if you can make a batch of it, and you can see here it's going to last, I think that's 499 days, so about 500 days since I just made it a little while ago. So you can make a big batch of it and preserve it pretty much for as long as you need it. Now let's go over into the preserving bin and you can see on here, right now I have a timer of 12 minutes in the preserving bin on this cooked meat. I think it's normally 20 minutes, so it's just been uh, sort of counting down before. And I have preserving salt in here because when I take it out, now it's 12 minutes. So we go up to 24. So I don't know why that changed. One just spoiled. Okay, so 24, 25 minutes, whatever it is. But you can see, again, it doubles the amount of time in here. So the timer on the, uh, the, timer on the preserving bin is less than it was in in uh, the normal arc, arc survival evolved, I believe anyway, and then the preserving salt, it makes it last longer in there. So it just seems, if you ask me, that it is kind of ridiculous that we have to deal with these crazy spoiling times. 
So it's not only my inventory, but it's also the inventory of the dinos. So things are going to spoil a lot faster, whether it's berries or jerky or, or meat, prime meat or otherwise. And uh, let's access the inventory here. And he's got all kinds of spoilings. You, just, you can see he had a ton of meat uh, in here because he's got 161 prime or spoiled meat at the moment. I'm stuck with all these gerboas and everything else. The gerboas were in the building and they actually found the door and ran out to get into the battle with the Paraceratium. I don't know why that is. We gotta we gotta do some changes around here to prevent that. But so things are gonna spoil faster in the preserving or excuse me in the uh, in the feeding troughs as well. And you can't put preserving salts in here to kind of make them last longer. So you've got to keep an eye on that. You've got to keep an eye on how much food your dinos have, especially if you're leaving the area with the uh, with the feeding trough. So it's uh, it's really kind of just a pain in the butt. And I just, I'm kind of, I'm kind of at a loss so as to what to do. It's just, it just takes forever. So anyway, that is how to make preserving salt. That is me whining about spoil times. I know a lot of people are feeling the same way, especially when it comes to raw prime meat. I will see if I can, I'm playing single player and I'll see if I can have any other uh, settings that might change that because it's just ridiculous. How am I supposed to just get by cooking one and making kibble? It's almost not worth even trying to make kibble with anything that requires uh, raw prime meat, which is quite a lot. So thanks for watching. If you like, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I promise I won't do too much more whining in other videos. I try to keep a positive attitude. So we'll see you next time.